Doctor Who, The Wet Planets, the 13th story of the first Doctor, is written by Bill Strutton and starring William Hartnell, William Russell, Jacqueline Hill and Maureen O'Brien. So originally the story was going to be called The Webbed Planet, but obviously removed the Ed and one of the B. The costumes for the alien characters are designed by Daphne Dare. So episode one, The Web Planet, after the ending of The Romans, we get a great opening with the planet Vortus and nice music with it. After we first see the zombies, Vicky hears an ultrasonics noise and the zombies rocks the TARDIS. After Vicky is recovered from the noise, Barbara takes her for a rest. Vicky was having trouble knowing what that tablet is and the classroom, but Barbara insists her taking it. So she did, and her bracelet seemed to mind control her when she stick her arm out. The Doctor and Ian gets their atmospheric density jackets on, and a lot of people seem to notice that William Hartnell did forget his lines. Which it happens, and in his defence, there are a matter of time where we can forget what we're going to say until it comes back soon in real life. So it's not so bad. So the Doctor worked his magic to open that door and got out the TARDIS. As they looked around the planet, they discovered a pool and luckily for Ian, the Doctor stopped him from washing his hands. So he used his Coal Hill school tie to show him that it's acid. So while Barbara gets mind controlled again, Vicky calls for help as she loses her grip on the console and the Doctor noticed that the TARDIS is gone. Oh dear, how are they going to get out of this one? <laughs> In episode 2, the Zarbi, the Doctor went to tell Ian and suspecting that it's been dragged away, so they took off their atmospheric density jacket. I think the sets are nicely done for low budget. While Vicky sees the Zarbi are controlling the TARDIS, Barbara gets taken to the Minoptra, the butterfly bee humanoids. They think Barbara was going to get Zarbi to kill them, but one of them believed Barbara. So as she hits one of the Minoptra and escaping, she gets mind controlled again. After the Doctor finds out what planet he's on, him and Ian get surrounded by Zarbi. As Vicky managed to get out of the TARDIS, she gets surrounded by Zarbis. She reunites with the Doctor and Ian. Meanwhile, the Minoptra try to send a signal to the rest of the Minoptra species to warn them that the Zarbi are still on the planet. So as Zarbi attacks two of Minoptra, one of them went to Barbara and took the harness off her and he immediately gets attacked by Zarbi. So the tube went over the Doctor's head and we hear the voice of Animus asking him why did they come onto this planet, leading to Episode 3 Escape to Danger. Animus thinks the Doctor is an emissary from the Minoptra. We find out that Vicky accidentally fixed the TARDIS fluid link up so the shield is back on. So the Doctor lets Animus know that he is not part of the Minoptra force and asks her where Barbara is and Animus says that she is in the Crater of Needles. So the Doctor and Ian brought the equipment out of the TARDIS and threatens the Doctor if he took advantage of the mission he will die. So the power got restored to the ship, a zombie also powered down, Ian escapes to look for Barbara, he managed to tuck down a zombie but he gets caught up in a web, so the laser beam helps Ian. As there's like army of zombie on the planet, a Minotra flew down to help Ian while Vicky discovers that the zombie are afraid of the specimen. Ian learns more about the planet and then gets chased by zombies. Again, love the TARDIS team, William Hartnell is a fantastic doctor. William Russell and Jacqueline Hill are likeable as two teachers, Ian and Barbara. I loved Maureen O'Brien as Vicky, she's like a granddaughter to the doctor. The Minoptra are the humanoid bees and butterflies from the planet Vortis. Removing the wings would stop them flying again, even though if it grows back, which is horrible. They should bring them back. I think the costume is great for humanoid bugs. Apparently, Ross Lindy Winter was hired to create the movements and speeches for Minoptra, and because they loved what she did, they asked her to play a Minoptra, which is nice. The zombies are the ant-like creatures who are controlled by Animus, a great old one from the pre-universe race known as Loigo. Optera are the humanoid woodlice and descendant from the Minoptera. I think the prosthetics are great, love to see how they're going to update with the technology we have today.
and the prosthetics. The scenes are fantastic. You could actually feel like you're on a planet. I also love the music in this story by their structure, Sonors. I thought it's brilliant. So in episode 4, Crater of Needles, as Ian and Reston are in an underground cave and get surrounded by Octra, as Barbara is with them in Octra, a zombie puts a harness on Vicky and the doctor speaks to Animus and tell her that if Vicky dies, there's no reason to help them. So Animus warns the doctor that if he doesn't get them more information to them soon, they shall kill Vicky. So while Optras are questioning Ian and Vrestin, the doctor finds a way to overpower the Zarbi, but Vicky gets hold of hostage again by Zarbi, and Animus seems to know what the doctor is doing. So they both got the harnesses on. So at first Optra said that Minoptras are to be killed until Vrestin shows them her wings, so to prove them that they're from the same planet. So they teamed up. The scenes where Minoptras are flying is pretty effective. So Barbara, Arostar and Propylus were trying to run away from Zarbies. Episode 5, Invasion, Barbara and the two Minoptras found themselves in the Temple of Light. It also revealed that Vicky isn't mind controlled when she took the harness off. The Doctor and managed to capture a Zarbi and put a harness on it and the Doctor manages to control a Zarbi, which is clever. So Ian, Vrestin and Opteras went down to the cave to get to the centre of Animus. Even one of the Opteras is killed, they carried on. So the Doctor and Vicky reunite with Barbara and the Minoptras, let the Doctor know that the Animus dwells in the very centre of the planet and draws power from the magnetic poles of the Vartis. As the Doctor and Vicky went on, they got webbed up. Episode 6, The Centre, the Doctor and Vicky are free from webs, just like that. Animus tells the Doctor that he's not needed except his mind. So Barbara and Minoptras manage to control zombies. Meanwhile, Ian Vrestin and the Optra discovers Water Pocket. That Animus plans to replace it with acid. So after Barbara and Minoptra sees Arostar die, the Doctor and Vicky arrived in Animus chamber and the Doctor and Vicky gets tied up by those tentacles to absorb their intelligence in order to recorrect the space travel. So eventually Ian Barbara and Minoptras arrived and Barbara uses Isotope that killed Animus and the Doctor and Vicky are free. So in the end, Minoptras, Optras and Zobbies are leaving peacefully on the planet as they say goodbye to the Doctor and his companions and the TARDIS fades away. They will speak of this event for their descendants, which is nice. So yeah, the story has fantastic sets, great story, costumes are great. That was one of Peter Capaldi's favourite story from his childhood saying it succeeded in what it set to do, which I agree. So, what did you think of this story? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.